watch this tool, okay? It's the angles at which I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it, okay? And you notice I'm not dragging it, okay? See my hands going like this? All right, so I was telling you, so if I have it on, say, like on, on a 20 degree, I'm sawing it. Because like I said, if you look at this blade underneath the microscope, it looks like a, it looks like a little saw. And if you sit there and drag like that, you're going to lose the edge on the blade because it'll start to bend. And it's really difficult to work with a dull razor. Okay, so there again, I was what? Overextending it. Forward, why? Because we're going to bring it back. If you overextend, bring it back. Cool. Okay, so when I cut Dean's hair, because you can't see it, so visualize this hair, that it was solid, then I pulled it forward like this, so there's the cut, right? So then when I bring it back, the cut's underneath. Gives you more flexibility. And then again, you have to make sure that that the that your client's hair he maintains it in a healthier state if you're doing any type of that work on it. Because if he allows it, if you say you do a 10 degree and he allows his hair to get get dry and brittle, it'll start to curl because there's no moisture in it to maintain, maintain that cut. And that's where years ago the razor kind of fell out of, out of favor with the hairdressers is because they were dragging it and they were scraping the cuticle because they didn't, they didn't know how to do that, that movement. <coughs> 